Hi, welcome back to the show. We are with the gang from the Honolulu Fish Company, Konoho Koko, and Ace Fish Cutter Ray. Now, Ray, this is the gag we like to do. We're gonna put you on the spot. Manchong, right? One of the uh, premium fish that Honolulu Fish That's offers right, yep. to its clients. We're gonna see how fast you can take this apart. So, the moment I tell you go, go ahead and pick up the knife, all right? You up for this? Okay. All right, go. Hey, Kanoho, tell me a little bit about Honolulu Fish Company. How, yeah. long, how long have they been in the business? You know, we've been uh, doing this for almost 20 years now, you know, delivering uh, fresh seafood from Hawaii um, overnight. Mm -hmm. You know, to the East Coast or the West Coast, we can do it um, 18 to 24 hours. And um, we do it for free. We'll ship it to you for free. That is awesome. I mean, your client list, I understand, is some of the, the, the number one top shelf restaurants in the nation. Absolutely, absolutely. Up out on the West Coast, we have uh, Thomas Keller and his French Laundry. Mm -hmm. um, and his other restaurant too, uh, on the East Coast, uh, Per Se. You know, they both enjoy the product that we, we put out there. I mean, the, the clientele that they see demand the quality that we provide, so it well, kind of goes hand in hand. I got a question for you. Sure. If, I, if I have a nephew and he is graduating from college and it's a special day for him and he's on the East Coast, I can get him number one grade ahi sashimi on time for that graduation Absolutely. celebration? Absolutely. You know, it'd be so fresh that you could probably make like an ahi lei instead of candy lei. <laughs> Just string it around and send it. It'll be fresh. <laughs> yeah. I can't wrap my mind around <laughs> ahi lei, but uh, yeah, some fresh sashimi is something he would love to Absolutely. share with his friends. Oh, awesome. Okay, now, we, we've seen some pretty fast fish cutting, but you're just about ready to break a record, Ray. Just about. The moment you put your knife down is when this game is over. Hey, Kunoho, which is your favorite fish of all the fish that you ship out? You know, Manchong, right here. <laughs> Definitely on the top of my list. Manchong, yeah, Manchong's awesome. Okay, Ray, I'll, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> One minute and 30 seconds. All right, all right. <laughs> Good, good, okay. So you got by with a real small fish in fast amount of time. <laughs> so we're gonna take a break, get another fish, and we're gonna put Ray to the test again. So folks, don't go away, we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> no blood this time. <laughs> yeah, <boy. laughs> Hi, welcome back. We are with Konoho Koko from Honolulu Fish Company, along with the ace fish cutter there, Ray, who just a few minutes ago did a manchong in one minute and 30 seconds. Now, your reputation's on the line, buddy. I got the stopwatch ready. We got an opa over here. Boy, I'll tell you what, they're funny looking fish, huh? <laughs> okay, let's go. Ready? Ready? Three, two, and go. You know, Konoho, a lot of us did not grow up with a uh, opa in the refrigerator. Right. You know, dad didn't catch these, uncle didn't catch these, but this fish has really taken off in popularity, huh? Absolutely, absolutely. I think uh, the unique flavor and structure has really um, gained its uh, fan base, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tuna like on the top, swordfish like in the middle and the belly portion, just fatty like a toro tuna. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's everything we want. Now, the, these fish, um, you know, I've, because I didn't have any experience with them when I was growing up. When you clean a fish like this, what's the yield like? It, I mean, it looks like just by the cuts I'm seeing, we're not gonna get much. Right, right. Yeah, this fish, um, you know, there's a lot of parts of it that uh, will go to waste, but um, we're looking like 30, 40% yield, right around there. 40% yield? Yeah, 30, 40 on the higher side, yep. And these fish get huge. Yeah, right? this is actually a smaller one, um, you know, than the average size. You know, I was mentioning earlier that one of the nicest uh, things that someone could do is send some number one grade ahi across the country in, in less than 24 hours to someone they really care about. That's right. But you also told me that somebody made a, a lei out of ahi? You know, it was a genius idea. One of my chefs delivered to his daughter um, overnight in a tube, in a cellophane flexible tube. Half it was chunked ahi cubes. Mm -hmm. The other half was the ingredients, so shoyu, green onions, and ogo. And so all she needed to do was squeeze it out in proportions into those little poopoo cups for herself and her friends. Hey, it's a poke, kit. A poke kit. kit. Yeah, definitely. It's a poke kit, but not to be worn through the whole ceremony. No, yeah. no, no. That's too Lady Gaga for <laughs> me, man. God. Ahi lei. So, how long is Ray, how long have you been with the company? Um, I've been with the company almost five years. Wow. Did you, did you cut fish before that, or is this all just uh, under the gun? Yeah, I used to cut fish for another company. Mm -hmm. 
man, when the fish get bigger than this, it's got to be a real arm wrestle to take it apart, huh? Yes, very good. Okay, it's safe to say right now that you have just gone beyond the 2 minute and 20 second mark, which means you're in new country right now. Boy, are you so far behind. <laughs> Of course, if I were doing this, it'd take half an hour, but we're not talking uh, much experience with Opa at all. Yeah, I'll tell from its very unique uh, appearance, the flavor, the texture is so similar to some other products like, you know, ahi tuna, Sorry. Um, swordfish. Sorry, so a lot of people who never tried such an exotic fish like this uh -huh. find a, a common ground where it's like very pleasing to the palate. The bite on it's very similar to a tuna. So exotic, but not foreign, you know? Perfect, okay. Two minutes and 57 seconds. Not bad. We're gonna have to add some points on for that night plural though. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, nah, no worries. I mean, we don't get to see this all the time. This is great. Ray, thanks for being on the show. All right. Gano, thank Mahalo, you, man. man. Absolutely. And we also wanna say thank you to everybody else who participated on today's program, folks. It's not gonna be that long. We'll see you in about a week on Let's Go Fishing. You know, the belly part's my favorite part of this. Yeah. Okay.